Race A1's coverage of the 2022 BRCA 110th Off-Road Nationals is brought to you by Model Tune, Schumacher and RC Octane. Well, it is another stunning morning here at Stockfold in Bedfordshire. It's just a little before 7 a.m. and it is already 18 degrees. Everybody in their t-shirts. So we're gonna have a little track walk. Predicted temperature of 34 degrees here today, which is going to be absolutely massive. So this is your first corner for four wheel drive. And there'll be quite a bit of speed card here because we are straight into this tabletop. Now this tabletop does have a significant down ramp, so it's possible that some drivers We'll be getting the down ramp and just sprinting it up to this first corner. And it's also possible some people are going to hit it absolutely flat out and try and land it at the apex. We'll have to see what happens. Then we have sort of a double peak, little jump here at the corner. Big open hairpin. Now back on the flat, sprint down to tighter hairpin. And you can just see there is a straight line through this, what I call a mild chicane. There's a straight line through here. Now, look at these bumps. Hopefully okay, you can see those. There's quite a significant bump on the entry to that corner. You can see where the astroturf has a little hole in it that's been worn out. And now we climb the berm that caused so many problems for people yesterday. What happens is the car sprints up to the top, they go a little bit light at the top and there's a slight off camber as you dip down. And a lot of the cars were going up on three wheels. A lot of the cars were rolling over and the cars were just not carrying enough speed because they were a little bit afraid of it. And we're going to dip down here now. Long, long apex for going up onto the bank corner. Let's just take a look at this from the other angle. So you can see there's a lot of bumps in there. There's a lot of camber changes. That's going to be tricky. You're going to have a light car coming over the crest, then a slight dip before it rises again before the apex. And then back up. And this will be high speed into this bank corner. So, back off the bank corner, and we have a tabletop, which, which dips and rises again at the apex. More bumps just there at the apex, which would be tricky. And then this tabletop, dips and rises again at the second apex. So just looking at that complex coming through. Come around tabletop, dip, back up, dip, back up. That's going to be catching people out. There's going to be grip rolls there. Now, this is the bit I personally really like. Carrying plenty of speed off that tabletop. The apex of this corner 
is supported by a little bit of banking. You can see that. So to get in on that banking and ride it around, keeping keeping low, not sliding up onto the top, but it's going to be very enjoyable. Through for another 90 rice. And then similar to two wheel drive, you come down here and hairpin up onto the tabletop. A lot of people saying you had to keep this tight yesterday. Let's get a better look at the entry of that. So keep it tight. Now this is, if you look ahead, You can see there is a straight line through there to where that van is, but it's not that easy. So we've got to go tight here. Tabletop, very short landing on the tabletop. You might be flat landing it or might be hitting the top. Yeah. Big jump. So big. I expect the cars to jump and land all the way down here near the apex. If you look here, there is a flat patch. That is the target for the four wheel drives to hit. Let's get a look at it from this side. So those cars will be coming through see the tabletop there in the distance. Big jump, landing down here, and then down to the straight. And back down the straight. So it's a complex lap. There's a few tricky things in there. A good track walk is certainly going to help. Let's get up onto the rostrum. A few things like knowing the shape of that berm and a little bit of banking on the hairpin and how to jump that tabletop are going to be essential things to know. So let's take a look down here now. So here's your straight. Tabletop at the far side, the hairpin with the double peak at the far end, back down tight hairpin, new chicane up the back, onto the berm that has a lot of changing elevations of it. Tight the apex up onto the banked corner. Now taking easy over the three tabletops. First one dip at the apex, second one dip at the apex, third one jumping across it and trying to get as much power down on the down ramp as you can without throwing the car over and then riding the banking in next close to the apex of that hairpin, second hairpin is flat, third hairpin staying tight for, for, for that tabletop here in front of the rostrum and carrying a nice straight line through just in the shadows there off the rostrum and getting a good jump and landing down at the just before the last hairpin. So there you have it. 34 degrees of heat today. We are not looking forward to it. We don't know what the track is going to do. Somebody suggests it's going to come very dusty and very loose. Let's see. We're going to have we're rolling report on, we're going to have photos, we're going to have the A final videos up. So make sure to check out raceway1.com and our Facebook page for all the latest updates. So thanks for watching.